Human rights organizations and MEPs claim that European companies are using Cuban workers in condition of semi-slavery. On Wednesday, the NGO Prisoners Defenders, with the support of Human Rights Watch, accused, among others, a holiday cruise giant, MSC, of taking advantage of this situation. They say they have evidence that has been presented to the International Criminal Court. We have a lot of proof. These documents detail the terrible conditions of Cuban workers abroad. For example, the confiscation of their property, including documents, and a ban on returning to Cuba for eight years. Keeping these workers away from their little children if they abandon their jobs or fail to return to Cuba at the end of their contracts. But we also have Cuban legislation, which confirms this. We also have work certificates from Selectmark that gives Cuban workers for luxury cruises and withholds 80% of the workers' wages. And we also have certificates from the Cuban Ministry of Interior proving these allegations. All this is ratified by more than 1,111 complaints. Euronews has tried to bring the accusations to the attention of MSC, but has so far not received a response. The sale of services by Cuba's so-called international missions includes medical and health services, but also the provision of sail crews. Much of the money obtained, however, does not go to the workers, but to the Cuban government. According to one of the European Parliament's vice presidents, this scandal cannot be tolerated. The European Union has a framework agreement with Cuba and it was actually the European Parliament that had a condition during the ratification process of this agreement, which was a strong human rights clause. So I think it's really now the time to properly um, uh, implement and enforce this agreement. Uh, and also, I think that these cases uh, uh, demonstrate the urgency for the European Union to have a ban on forced labor. The income international Cuban missions generate is the main source of revenue for the Cuban government abroad since at least 2005. From Brussels, for Euronews, Alberto De Filippis.